the South Koreans are coming. You want proof? Then maybe you want a high-end Santa Fe. If it wasn't for bad snobbery, surely every compact 4x4 buyer would have one of these. I mean, after all, it's bigger than a Freelander, a RAV4, or a Honda CRV. And instead of cramping five, it seats up to seven. Or oh, did I mention that model for model, you'll almost certainly end up paying less for one? All right, so the neighbors might wonder what you bought, but who cares? They might doubt the quality of your purchase, but at least you won't once you take a seat inside. This second generation Santa Fe offers higher quality wood and metal detailing and a whole host of upmarket features such as dual zone air conditioning, ESP stability control, heated front seats and a multi adjustable steering wheel. 175 millimetres of extra length over the old model has been put to good use. Not only with the optional third row of extra seats, but also with 84 litres of extra cargo space, the total rising to 774 litres. Now Hyundai has a pair of engines to give this Santa Fe's chances of power up. The big seller will be this 2.2 litre CRDI unit with 148 brake horsepower, which has a lot more about it than the old Santa Fe's 115 brake horsepower common rail unit. Fitted with a variable geometry turbocharger, this diesel engine develops 335 newton meters of torque between 1800 and 2500 RPM. And like most modern diesel engines, it's not only more powerful, but actually improves on the fuel consumption figures of its predecessor. This is due to a more efficient common rail injection system that also reduces noise, vibration and harshness, NVH. The 2.7 litre petrol unit develops 186 brake horsepower and uses constantly variable valve technology and a variable intake system which combine to offer excellent power and torque delivery across a wide range of engine speeds. The McPherson strut front suspension and the multi-link rear suspension, they've both been tuned to offer better driving dynamics on the road. And there's a self-leveling suspension setup to help cope when the car is heavily loaded. An electronic torque on demand four-wheel drive system directs drive to the rear wheels via a multi-plate clutch when slippage is detected at the front. Now it reacts a lot quicker than many similar systems, although the driver can also engage a four-wheel drive lock facility which is really useful in conditions like sand or standing water or when going around slippery bends. Now there's little doubt that these changes lift the Santa Fe onto a whole different plane in terms of sophistication and desirability, but will they be enough to enable the Santa Fe to stand out and make a splash in a market that's become a feeding frenzy for the major manufacturers? It all depends on the old badge snobbery thing of course, but regardless, savvy, compact and family 4x4 buyers should put this high-end high on their shopping list. <laughs>